Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how you can use OBS Studio with a video capture card to record local gameplay uh, videos uh, with two separate audio channels, one for voiceover and one for gameplay with high quality video recording. I'm using Avery Media Gamer Mini by the way for this one, but of course you can use your video capture card as well. So here you can see me actually uh, using uh, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, all right, and I'm playing. Right, so this is the PlayStation 5. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm using uh, AVR Media, uh, AVR Media, which is uh, it's actually AVR Media uh, Gamer Mini. Uh, but of course, you might use something else. But basically, I'm going to talk about uh, things that I use in OBS Studio uh, in order to make it work. So basically, if I want to record videos, I want to be high quality. Uh, so I can edit it maybe later, uh, for example, in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so what I use, first of all, there are several uh, audio mixes here, channels. Uh, basically, I'm using uh, Stream Engine, all right? I'm using Stream Engine. As you can see where I see the device, Live Gamer Mini Stream Engine chosen here. I also chosen a uh, full HD resolution, 60 FPS, right? So um, this is used, uh, and most of it I left by default, but it shows the resolution and FPS for what I need. And of course you can choose to different things, depends on your needs. In terms of microphone, I connected uh, RTX voice for NVIDIA to improve the quality of my microphone. Of course you can use just a regular microphone uh, but I created a specific one uh, for RTX voice. You see, we can choose the microphone. You can choose your own microphone. So this is basically the two things that I'm using. I'm using this LGP live stream engine for my favorite media and the microphone. Again, this is in-game sound. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to jump. You can see. And of course, my voice is projected here. So I only have two. Now, uh, to make it work, I need to go to settings. Also, what I want is to have two separate channels for DaVinci Resolve. So basically, when I uh, record a video, uh, I want it to be separated to two different channels. All right, so one for the gameplay and one for the audio. So I can actually kind of, uh, you know, change maybe the volume up and down and play with a bit. So I needed that. All right, so if you go to the settings, if you go to the settings, and we go to output, you're gonna see the streaming and recording. Now we're gonna just, just talk about the recording, all right, for video recording in this video. So basically I choose standard, all right? Uh, you can choose the recording format, and if you see output uh, mode, choose advanced, not simple, all right? So choose advanced, and then you have more options for controlling the audio track. So here I'm choosing MKV. Again, you can change it to your things that you're liking. I choose MKV, and then I tap here for two audio tracks. So basically, uh, OBS Studio will output two audio tracks. What will go to each one? I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, I'm choosing the NVIDIA NVEC H2064, right? Now it's the NVIDIA graphic card. Uh, in terms of uh, quality, there are different options. CBR is good for streaming. Uh, CQP and uh, VBR can be actually good for um, video. This is variable bitrate. This is constant one. So again, you can read more about it. I use this one, but you can use this one. Just make you save space. On your hard drive, I choose CQP. And again, the lower the number, the higher quality, but basically if you choose the less than 14, it's just kind of lossless. So this is by default 20, which is very good, by the way. I checked the quality, so I stayed with 20. But you can play with this, by the way. Of course, if you want to reduce the quality, go to a higher number, uh, make it higher quality, lower number. But of course, keep in mind that you're gonna get, uh, you need more space, right? For higher quality ones, all right? Uh, I choose, you can see here, preset. You can choose different preset. I choose quality because again, this is for editing later. 
you can choose a profile i choose high look at the thing is for if you have a high uh, of, uh movement uh you should leave it uh unchecked but if you have low movement you probably you know should check it out but again the better thing is just to because of the content can be fair you can just try and see the results and see if you see any difference basically all right uh and then i left everything by default here all right uh in terms of audio i left the 160 all right uh now i'm just going to go okay and i'm going to show you how you can assign to the two different tracks that we previously shown you so we need to right click here and go to advanced audio properties all right so here in the advanced audio properties you can see i you can see my capture card output here all right so this is mine because using the other other media but you might see something different of course for yours uh and i'm using rtx voice all right it can be a different mic for you all right so basically i'm not using the other ones just these two now remember that before we had like two channels that we uh we had so now i need to assign uh each channel to each track so here the gameplay audio will be assigned to track one all right and uh the rtx uh, i use by the monitoring output so i can actually hear it and i'm using rtx voice and i assign to track two but because i don't want to hear myself i set monitor off all right and of course i set mono because again it's uh, no stereo output so it is going to be a mono channel all right uh so again and the result of course will be that you're going to see it here all right two channels in the vinci resolve one for the uh gameplay uh so i'm just gonna see one for so the gameplay checking the quality of both and and the quality all right so i can control each one separately so again, these are the basics. I uh, hope you find this one useful. If so, consider leaving a like and subscribe. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below and I do my best to answer as fast as I can. If of course I know the answer. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.